Mars is still our most promising prospect for finding traces of biological life or extinct civilizations anytime soon. We have long since given up the search for human-like beings, plants, or animals on Mars. But NASA has found evidence of possible micro-life forms in the depths of Mars. According to the latest findings, our planetary neighbor guards gigantic water deposits in its depths. In this video, we explore the exciting question of whether life can actually still be found on Mars and what it might look like. But before we take a closer look at these questions, you'll get some important information about Mars and the long history of Mars exploration. Our neighbor, the Red Planet. Mars is the closest neighbor to Earth, along with Venus. The distance between Mars and Earth varies. Both celestial bodies move in elliptical orbits around the Sun. If Mars comes particularly close to Earth, the distance is about 33 million miles. Then Earthlings can see Mars very well with the naked eye. It appears in the night sky as a distinct red flickering dot. Its color and glow earned Mars the nickname the Red Planet early on. Since the 17th and 18th centuries, people have had such good telescopes that they've been able to observe details on the surface of Mars. The idea that there could be, or better, must be, life on Mars was born at that time. First, astronomers recognized the Martian spots. Scientists at that time interpreted these color changes as references for seasons and vegetation periods. And the astronomers were not all that wrong. In fact, the red planet changes its face due to seasonal events or is enveloped by gigantic dust storms. In 1877, Italian astronomer Giovanni Schiaparelli spotted the Canali on Mars. At first, researchers were in a frenzy after all, the presence of these Martian canals suggested river courses or channels created by life forms. The idea of life on Mars was thus further substantiated and continued to linger in people's minds. Since the 20th century, NASA and other space agencies have sent over 30 probes to Mars. In recent years, the exploratory missions have intensified. Mars is not only to be explored, but at best, also to be colonized by humans at some point. In order to estimate now how successful a Martian colonization could be, scientists definitely need to know whether there is water or organic life forms on site. Evidence for life on Mars There have long been curious reports of the alleged discovery of life on Mars. In the 1970s, the Viking 1 mission provided the first real images of Mars. Among them was a rock formation that became world famous as the face of Mars. Other images showed stone blocks in the shape of pyramids or wall courses that resembled the ground plans of ancient Inca settlements. The Mars Global Surveyor had an extra mission in the 1990s to study these formations in more detail. With a much better camera on board, the probe was able to deliver high-resolution images and had to bitterly disappoint all proponents of alien theories. The formations were actually optical illusions by the angle of incidence of the light. Definitely no life on the surface of Mars. All past probes have been able to clarify one thing for sure. There is definitely no humanoid, animal, or plant life form on the surface of Mars. But so far, we know almost nothing about the deeper layers of Mars. Could there be caves or underground water with life here? The surface of the red planet appears much too dry. Regionally and seasonally, it is even frozen. The radiation on the surface is probably too high for the emergence of natural life. However, it is conceivable that there are microbes on Mars that can cope well with the radiation, 
or they have retreated into the depths of the planet. After all, there are traces of former watercourses on Mars, and where there is water, there should be life. There are large water deposits on Mars. In 2005, the Mars Express probe found evidence of gigantic water reservoirs under the south pole of Mars through radar measurements. Under a superficial ice layer of carbon dioxide, normal water could be found. Most likely, this would be water similar to our own salt water. Calculations determined a possible water volume of up to 1 million cubic miles. That would be enough to completely cover the surface of Mars with a layer of water about 36 feet thick. In 2012, NASA's Curiosity rover landed in a valley that looked like a former river course. And indeed, Curiosity's measurements and images corroborated the suspicion of alluvial landscapes and formations. Clearly, researchers must conclude that Mars was once covered in water. At one time, Mars probably had an atmosphere like the Earth's. When that disappeared for some reason, the air pressure on Mars changed dramatically. Today, the air pressure is so low that water can't stay on the surface for long. At the present moment, NASA researchers believe that life may be hiding either in the water reservoir under the polar caps or in caves and deeper layers of Mars. On Earth, too, life is by no means limited to the surface. Caves, water reservoirs, simple mosses and lichens occur in the Earth's interior. Bacteria and microbes can still be found as deep as six miles. So why shouldn't the same be true on Mars? Martian Caves and Martian Holes in the course of the Curiosity mission, a few places on Mars were drilled. However, the drillings only reached a few inches deep. In order to reach the presumed water deposits and moist layers of Mars, it will be necessary to drill deeper. Projects to do just this are already being planned. In Germany, engineers are already testing a drill that will be sent to the Red Planet with an upcoming Mars mission. The next mission, which will examine Martian rocks and soils in more detail, is already underway. On February 18, 2021, NASA's Mars 2020 Perseverance rover successfully landed in the Jezero Crater in the northern hemisphere of Mars. This rover is preparing to collect and return drill and rock samples to Earth for the first time. If this mission is successful, it would be an absolute sensation Never before have humans held Martian rocks in their hands. The only exceptions are smaller meteorites, presumably from Mars, that have been found on Earth. But any traces and clues on these rocks are of little significance due to their long and unprotected journey through space. A major goal of the new mission is to further explore giant and mysterious holes on the surface of Mars. In 2011, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter provided a fascinating image of a giant hole at the bottom of a former volcanic crater. Astrobiologists consider this geological feature an excellent place to look for life. The Martian holes known so far are far larger than most comparable underground cavities on Earth. Presumably, some of them are of volcanic origin and are so-called lava tubes. These deep holes are not only interesting because traces of life could be found at their bottom. They are the only known places on Mars that are generally protected from cosmic radiation and meteorites. NASA is even considering whether the natural openings could be perfect locations for future manned Mars missions. What was decided at the Mars Extent Life Conference? In 2019, International research teams met for the Mars Extent Life Conference in the U.S. state of New Mexico. Together, they deliberated on how best to proceed with Mars exploration in the interest of all nations and people on Earth. At the meeting, a NASA scientist and spokeswoman reiterated the importance of continuing the search for microorganisms. Astrophysicist Vladis Damenkovic 
again emphasize that the surface of Mars is truly the worst place to continue searching for traces of life. But how should we search for life on Mars now in concrete terms? Geologists have evaluated the data from previous probes and identified about 1,000 caves and several other natural openings on the surface of Mars. They could all be targets for future space probes and robots. To move forward with the projects, scientists would now need to develop equipment capable of accurately examining groundwater and chemicals, in particular. In addition, the probes would need to be able to travel greater distances. Only then could we examine as many potential sites on Mars as possible. To be sure, astronomers and geologists will first await the progress of the Mars 2020 Perseverance mission. The rover is set to detect biosignatures on rocks and in the upper subsurface layers of Mars. A helicopter will fly over Mars at a close distance from the surface and continue to search for traces of former life. If the mission goes as planned, it should provide the basis for a first manned flight to Mars. NASA is holding out the prospect of this starting in 2030. By then, at the latest, researchers on the ground will be able to further investigate the depths of Mars and its caves for traces of life. As you can see, things on Mars continue to be exciting. We will of course keep you up to date. You can hear everything about the progress of the current Mars 2020 mission in an upcoming video. We hope you enjoyed this journey to the Red Planet. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic in the comments section. See you next time.